Hi guys, DW Berman here with another little lightweight video. Uh, about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, I posted this uh, video on called, called Pixel Bunny uh, to fill the volume of an object with instances. Uh, basically, there is a, a tool I use to fill solid, and I just had to click that button a bunch of times to put a bunch of points inside the the geometry, and then I uh, quantized it to re reduce the number of points. Um, about a week or so ago, DodgyB2001 uh, suggested something else, so we're going to do, do his suggestion. We're going to use a Boolean operation. And to do that, uh, here's my new Pixel Bunny. I didn't feel like digging through the, an old hard drive to find the original badly deformed rabbit, so I made a new badly deformed rabbit. So let's put him in the background layer. Let's click on this foreground layer for the second layer and put him in the background. Okay, Shift plus or under the Create tab, there's a Points button there. Let's add a point. And I'll add it there. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to move it anyway. Uh, next up, go to the Multiply tab. And down under Duplicate, there is an array. And I want... This is the initial numbers I put in. I'm just going to change these up to be 100, 100, 100 by default. The offset type is automatic. We want it to be on manual. And I'm going to change the offset to 100 millimeters. So then hit OK. And that might be too dense. We'll see. We'll see. No, that's that's not too bad. So let's now hit F3. That's our rest on ground. And that will also center it if we don't uncheck the center axis things. And there we go. Our feet are sticking through a little bit. So I'll just move this down. Oops, it's a little slow and choppy with the screen recording, and maybe just because it's so many points. Okay, now the way this would normally work is we go over to the, well, I don't even know where to find it in the menus. It's Shift B is the command. Construct, combine, boolean. And instead of union or subtract or add, we're going to do intersect, and this will intersect. But it won't work on just regular points. You notice nothing happened. What we need to do is we need to change these points into polygons. And there is a tool for that. Under Create, there's Polygon section. And More, More, Make One Point Polygons. This will take all your points and turn them into polygons. And there we have a whole array of polygons. Now, we can do our Boolean operation. With the bunny in the background, the way Boolean works is it takes whatever's in the background and, and uh, operates on whatever's in the foreground. These little layers up here intersect, and hopefully it won't crash or anything. I have not tried it on an object this complex. So I'm just going to wait a second here. I only have a million points selected, you know. Child's play. Oi, that took a while. Yeah, it's, it took about uh, four minutes or so to fill the to do that Boolean operation. So what we have now, is aside from some stray points, we should just delete manually. We deselect everything, so I can just select those two points. Delete. Okay, so now we have a grid of actually uh, one point polygons, which is you know obviously a uh, kind of an oxymoron, but here we have a, a filled rabbit with a bunch of points. Um, some interesting effects going on there. So let me just hit save, and I'll send this to the layout. You could also, you don't need to keep these as one-point polygons, you could hit the K kill to, or the K key to kill the polygons, to kill the rabbit. So, um... I don't need to see the rabbit, or the. I don't need to see either, either of these items. So let me hit the scene, dope editor, and I will uncheck all that stuff. Now layer two is where we had the. It was the the points. First thing I need to do. I'm gonna. I could have done this and probably should have done done this in modeler. But let me add a cube under the modeler tools and layout. So um, point one, 
point one, point one. Uh, center, negative point oh five. I think that'll center it up. I could be mistaken. Let's let's take a look and see. Yep, we have the pivot point in the center of the box as we want it. And I'll also turn that off. So all of our objects are hidden now. It makes for a fantastic render. And speaking of renders, let's go to the uh, backdrop options. Just turn on background gradient. And I'm going to go to the render tab, render globals, and turn on global illumination. And I'm going to click on the VPR. And here is our fantastic render. OK, now with the Pixel Bunny Layer 2, and this isn't the order you'd necessarily do these things in. I'm just being dramatic. With the Layer 2 selected, let's go to Instancer, the Instancer tab on the Object Properties. And I want to go to Instance Generator, double click, add object, new cube object. That's what we want to clone or instance, and the type will be points, I guess. Max points, and that'll fill it. And they'll use all of the points that are there. So there is our new improved pixel bunny. Say the operation, the, the actual labor involved was not that long, but there was a wait time involved for doing that. So the new improved pixel bunny. Thank you, Dodgy B2001. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Check out liberty3d.com where I have some stuff for sale. So thanks again. Good night.